Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, September 5th, and it is an absolutely beautiful fall-like day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Crisp, beautiful weather, a little bit of clouds, but no rain in the forecast. Just a, just a wonderful day. I love this time of year. Uh, and yeah, I've uh, it's been a busy morning already. It's uh, just a little bit of past 10 now. Got up I actually slept in a little bit today. Slept in an extra hour um, to make up for the fact that I stayed up a bit late last night. And uh, yeah, it's good so far. Got my uh, J. Mouton billiard here and haunted bookshop. And I'm also drinking some eight o'clock coffee. As my friend John the Bearded Welshman likes to say, black of course. Hmm and delicious so I hope you're all having a nice weekend nice Labor Day weekend for the folks here in the States uh, many of us have tomorrow off myself included and I am enjoying that immensely because it's been rough at work lately uh, and I, do, I shouldn't complain I love my job I love what I do and but it's just been so much stuff the, the past couple weeks so every time I think I've completed something, something else crops up, and then I'm halfway through that, and then this comes back and says, hey, we're not done yet. And it's just been a lot of that. So. But it's all good. We're making progress. People are happy. I'm happy. Can't complain. Leaves me very little time for shop work. Leaves me very little time for this, which is why you haven't seen a Wednesday video from me in a while. Uh, and that's probably going to be the case for a couple weeks, I'm afraid. I just, just haven't had the time to do it. But it's all good. So, a couple things I wanted to update you. Well, not really update you on, but, but tell you. Well, a couple things I wanted to talk about before I get into the main thing I want to talk about today. Uh, one is I got an email from my buddy Ed, uh, the armchair piper, and he wants everybody to know that on Wednesday, September 15th, there's going to be a bit of an event, a bit of a pipe smoking event. Wednesday, September 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern, all over the world, people are going to blow smoke rings. Just one if you want. Spend an hour blowing them, whatever you want. It's just going to be something fun. I think there's some folks on YouTube that are going to be doing something with it. Uh, Flat Cat Piper and Lady Fire have something planned. Uh, it, we're, it's just something to have fun with. I personally will just, Wednesday at 8 p.m., make sure I got a pipe, which I probably will. And uh, I'll blow a few smoke rings. So join in the fun. It, it's just something to make us all feel, you know, part of this wonderful global community of pipe smokers so blow some smoke rings wednesday september 5th at 8 p.m and check out armchair piper he's a good guy makes great videos uh, i'll link below to his channel so you can check him out if you don't already know him. the other thing and this is an update is i got my kindle I talked last week about ordering a Kindle Paperwhite, and you know I put it off for years. I was kind of a bit trepidatious about it because I I've been using a tablet and a phone to read Kindle books, and it works fine. But the light bothers my eyes, and I I just wanted something different, and so I went ahead and bought this, and I wanted to show it to you. Uh, first off, this is a case made by a company called Kobac, C O B A K. And it's it's nice, uh, probably fake leather, but it's, it's got a nice feel to it. Um, it's got a magnet in it that turns the Kindle off when you close it, which is nice. Uh, it's like $12. And the Kindle itself is inside here. That's what you see when you start up. It is an ad. It's the only ad you see. It's a little annoying, but, you know, you, you can actually pay. I think if you pay an extra $20, there's no ads. So you could do that, but I figure it's okay. Maybe I'll see something that I want to read. And then you just swipe at the bottom, and that's what the text looks like. It's really nice. I mean, you can see that 
you can get glare on it. I mean, I got a light shining on me here, and I'm shining it right on it, but you can actually read through that. Um, and I've got it very dim right now because this is I was reading this morning. Uh, but you can adjust the brightness all the way up, and I'll I'll do that just to show you. So that's like full brightness. It's probably not going to show up very well on the screen now. But the neat thing is, it's really not casting a lot of light. It's it's lighting from the side. So even I was sitting outside last night reading uh, on the back patio in the dark. Uh, I had this with the light turned on, and it was very comfortable. And I've probably got about, I don't know, three, four hours reading on this now. I got it on Friday. And I love it. You know, I really love it. It's uh, it's much more comfortable than the phone or the, the tablet. Uh, it's smaller than the tablet, so I can you know carry it around more easily. I can put you know, a thousand books on this probably. I don't know how many books I can put on it, but more than I can read in, like on a weekend vacation or something. So this is really a, a fantastic product. Uh, I avoided it for years. I finally broke down, and I'm really glad I did. So just wanted to update you on that because I talked about it. I'm not pushing them, but if you're a reader and you're thinking about it, I, I recommend giving it a try. $120, I think. Uh, and you can find sales. Uh, in fact, right after I bought this, I saw something about a one-day sale where it was down to like $70. I tried to find that and see if I could switch it, but I, I couldn't. It was uh, by the time I saw it, I think the sale was over. Anyway, good good investment in my opinion if you're a reader. So that's uh, that's everything by way of updates. The the thing I I wanted to discuss today is something that my brilliant wife came up with, and I don't remember exactly when this was. I think we were actually driving back from Pittsburgh when we had this conversation, and. I really, really like this. So we were talking about, I think we were talking about lighters, actually. Um, so we were going to go to the Zippo Museum, and we didn't because we just were tired and didn't want to add four hours to the trip. So we decided against it. We're going to try to do it later this year. And we were talking about lighters, and, you know, I've got a lot of lighters now. And and I used the word, and, and it's kind of a joke between me and my wife. I, I said something like, I, I want to add another lighter to my collection. You know, and then I went, oops, I used the C word. And that's been a running joke. Uh, because if you're collecting, then you're not using. And it, it suddenly becomes, how can I put this? In, in a non-pipe smoker's opinion, you're now spending money just to accumulate things. Whereas if you're, if it's a, if it's not a collection, but it's a rotation, for example, and it's tools that you're using and, and, and that's good. So I've always avoided the word collection. Now, there are people that collect pipes. There are people that buy pipes, put them on a shelf, never smoke them. And that's fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to cast aspersions upon collectors. Uh, I I have more hand saws than any man could need. Um, and I also have a table saw and a band saw. You know, I, do I need all these hand saws? No, I don't. But I'll never say I collect hand saws. <laughs> I just will not say that. Uh, I have hand saws that are... are much older than me, you know, some, some that were made in the 1800s. Um, I occasionally use them, but, you know, I like having them. But they're not a collection. There's nothing wrong with collecting. So, I said, oops, I used the C word, and, and you know, we laughed about that, and she, she said, and this was brilliant, she said, you should call it a gathering. And I thought, you know, that really, really makes a lot of sense, a gathering of pipes, my, my pipe gathering. And the more I thought about it, the more I liked it, because we like, I at least like to think about my pipes as having a life beyond me. Many of them had a life before me. Uh, because they were estate pipes, I take care of them. Uh, I don't take as good care of them as some people do, but 
they're, you know, I ream them. I, I take better care of them than many of the pipes that I would buy as estate pipes were when I got them. And I would like to think that someday when I'm gone, and, and you know, that is going to happen. Nobody yet has managed to not die. I'm going to try, but so far nobody's made it. So when I'm gone, I'd like to think that somebody else is going to smoke this pipe. And I don't know how that's going to happen. You know, I'm going to try to catalog everything so that uh, my wife, assuming that I go first, and that's a pleasant thought, actually. Uh, she would be able to, you know, sell them and, and not necessarily make a profit, but just, you know, recoup some of what I've spent on them and get them into other people's hands. I think that would be a very good thing. Uh, I don't want them to die with me. I don't want them to wind up in the trash, you know, because I've spent a lot of my life bringing pipes back from the brink, you know, making sure that they don't go in the trash. So the idea that all of mine would wind up that way really, really bothers me. So essentially, they're here for a while. Some of them have come from very far away. Some of them have come from other homes. Um, they hang out with me. I think of them as friends. So they've gathered. And when I'm gone, they're going to disperse. They're going to go off and find other gatherings to join. I like that. It makes me feel good. So from now on, I'm going to refer to my pipe rotation as a gathering of pipes. And I also got a gathering of lighters and a gathering of handsaws, but we won't, won't go into that. Anyway, thought you'd, thought you'd enjoy that. Uh, you know, of course, the other thing that gathering brings to mind is when we can actually get together in groups and, and, and enjoy a pipe. And, and uh, it looks like, you know, with the, the Columbus show happening, it looks like that's finally a thing again. And uh, I'm really looking forward to trying to make the Richmond show. I haven't checked any, for any updates on that, but last I heard it was on, it was October 2nd. I'm going to try really hard to go to that. And I'm hoping that someday soon folks here in the eastern half of Pennsylvania might want to get together and go to Boswell's and just hang out for, for an hour or two. Um, even just one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I, I want to go visit my friend Jack, uh, who lives quite near Boswell. Uh, in the near future and, and uh, hang out with him for an hour or two and just smoke pipes. That It's a social activity, you know, and YouTube gives us a surrogate for that, which is wonderful, especially in this modern world where we don't have the corner the backness that we can go to. Uh, YouTube has saved us, but it's great when we can actually do it in person, and I, I look forward to doing more of that uh, as the world slowly regains its sanity. So, a gathering of pipes. Some of us have large gatherings. Some of us have small gatherings. Some gatherings are very diverse. Some are very exclusive. But they're all pipes. And the hope is that they all will live on beyond us. Well, folks, I think I've taken up enough of your Sunday. I personally am probably going to go do some yard work. Still got some twigs and walnuts to pick up from the storm last week and uh, just get things in shape out there. While it's cool, then I can enjoy this. Temperature's going up a bit tomorrow, so take advantage of, uh, of the cool weather and get some stuff done. I hope you're having a great Sunday and, and enjoying yourself. Uh, if you're in the States and you're off tomorrow, have a great Labor Day. And have a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now.